With daylight savings fast approaching, sleep specialist Dr. Ron Cridland has some tips and tricks to help ease the transition. Although we gain an hour overnight on November 5th, specialists say it can still negatively impact sleep. Clocks will rewind one hour at 2 a.m. on Sunday, giving us back the hour we lost in March. Cridlin says the time change can mess with your internal clock. There is a tendency, though, for people to say, well, I'm going to be able to sleep in tomorrow, so I'll stay up later tonight, and as a result, end up still sleep deprived. In the wintertime, we lose an hour of sun, and that sun affects our mood, affects our biological clock, it affects our ability to sleep. Cridlin says safety is also impacted with people and children getting up in the dark. When they did this for a period of time in Florida a number of years ago, um, there was actually a number of children killed on the way to school because they were traveling in the dark and not used to that. Cridlin says when BC switches to a fixed time, it should be standard time. To help prepare yourself for the time change, people should follow good sleep hygiene. So it's really important for you to take at least an hour to relax and wind down at night to allow the adrenaline to wear off and allow your body to get ready for sleep. During the winding down time, Cridlin says it's important to avoid electronics. Brightness of screens suppresses melatonin levels, which can delay sleep onset. Consistently going to bed and waking up at the same time will also train your body to sleep better. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Reeve in Kelowna.